What would you do if you were told you have only three months to live? Cordula Volkening, who was recently diagnosed with terminal brain cancer, has decided to spend it painting, and she has been going at it like a woman possessed. I, I stay in the moment. It's not a past or not a, a future. I stay in the present. It's keeping me sane. Cordula is a 52-year-old mother of two from Brooklyn. A German-born art student, she worked doing interior construction design until the cancer came. Now she says the only way she can keep a measure of sanity and happiness is by returning to her old passion. So she is devoting her remaining days to painting. With no real savings, she had to give up her apartment and took a room with relatives and rented this studio space in Brooklyn. The tumors have impaired her speech and sometimes she has to scribble words down just to communicate. She paints rapidly and spontaneously, and her images are primal and powerful. Not only is she painting for her present state of mind, but also for her children's future. She has finished dozens of paintings and has already had three art shows and sold enough of her work to raise $25,000 for her children. Life insurance can take is a, a college, and uh, the rest of it, the money is spending all the money on your uh, my kids. After a year of ineffective surgeries and chemotherapy treatments, Cordula has now given up on medical treatment after being told that it would give her some more time but leave her too weak to paint. She says the terminal illness has simplified things, washing away the worry and petty preoccupations that almost made life more difficult when she had plenty of it, and she has never felt more connected to the canvas and to her creativity. I I nothing to lose, and uh, the the paintings are uh, uh, a gift for me.